Um, hello everyone. Um, again and again, I am, like I said, uh, I am committed to, to at least upload one one video every day. And while I am taking my my lunch, I, I usually just have bread and hot coffee for my lunch. Um, I decided to have this video because by one o'clock I'll be having a meeting and I am one of the speakers for our general assembly right so uh, I'll be sharing to you guys um, another challenging programming problem just me personally when I did create the the program app uh, I find it so hard uh, slicing the program into into functions and uh, Fortunately, after 20 minutes or 30 minutes, I I was done, and uh, I'm going to share to you today, right? So I would like to suggest this is too technical. Please listen, right? Please listen. The passing of parameters are, are too technical. You know, the calling of functions within other functions within a loop statement is so technical and so challenging, right? So please listen, watch. And I would like to suggest have it your own, right? You have your online compiler, encode it, right? Apply this idea and run it, explore. Okay, so here, um, or no, this is a problem. We are going to create a program to ask for a value, all right? And whatever value is that. Right, whatever value of that, our program will calculate and get the sum of the series of values. Say, for example, our value is 5. Right, our program will calculate 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. That's it. If, for example, the inputted value is 10, our program will then compute for the total of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to plus 10. <laughs> and, uh, We'll be using functions. We'll be applying the, 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 the concept of function programming. Okay. Um, now here, look at this. I have three functions. The first one is to get the value. Okay. Because our program demands us to ask for a value. And if you are following our, our videos, um, I am pretty sure that you're familiar with that function, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is something new. Look, okay. Um, I did try to to create a function that will handle loop statements because we can only compute for the total of the series of numbers by using loop statements, and I did put that in a part in a single function and the next uh, function is display uh, this is a common function I, I have I had explained this already and I did use this function already so I am pretty sure that you are also aware of this but uh, for the sake of discussing I'll be discussing this one line by line right and I am hoping that uh, at the end of this video I'll be able to right I'll be able to share my technical know-how in, in function programming and I'll be able to discuss this uh, line by line right so this is it now here look at this I have oh, I'm sorry I suppose to get rid of this I I'm not using I here so I, I only have N right and this N is actually the color for get value when I'm going to use get value I'll be using N and M here is also the color for loop state looping. This is again a function, right? And then after getting this value, um, I can now get use of display. And while using display, I'll be passing parameters also, right? So look at this. Uh, under loop looping, I, I need also to pass parameters. It is being specified in here int looping right i need integer value as parameter 
and when I'm going to use display function, I need how many parameters? Five. The first one is an integer value, and then the three are actually character values. So those are parameters that I'm going to pass on if I, I'll be using that uh, function, or else your program will not run. Okay, your program will, will display an error. For example, you're trying to get inside looping function and you're not passing parameters, it will not run. It will not run. Or you'll try to get inside looping function and you're passing more than one parameter, it will not function, it will not run. Alright? So C is very strict. Okay, so here. Um, when our when C compiler encountered in is equal to get value. Um, C compiler will then reserve a memory space for M, and while trying to look for get value, and this is our get value. All right, this is our get value. Our get value actually will ask for a value. So I did use value as my local variable. Okay. I'll be using that variable only within the bound of get value. That's a local variable. And then my get value function will display what? Um, enter value. Alright? And then scan if means what? Uh, for example, uh, I'll be giving 5 when I press enter k. Right, five will be stored to value. Are you following? Now, return value means what? Return five to the color, which is n. So at this time, n n now has five. Next, m is equal to. We are again trying to look for looping function. And while we are trying to use looping function, we're getting we are bringing n. So we're good as we're trying to bring five, because our n is five, right? So we'll try to look for looping star here. This is our looping, uh, okay, uh, function, and uh, we have here a variable x that will receive the parameter, all right? Because we're passing parameter which is n. Our n is five, so we're trying to pass five to looping and eventually x will receive that 5 so x now has a value of 5 so at any part of this program when we are going to use or a function right at any part of this function when we are going to use x the value of x is 5 right. and look at here and i um, i'm going to use i for my for for loop statement right and these are actually all local variables so my i uh uh, and at the same time, I, I try to initialize um, right uh, sum by by zero because eventually I'll be using sum as my right. So um, I did uh, initialize i by by one in my for loop statement, right? And uh, I'll be using the value of x as my upper limit. Okay, meaning if if the value of i is greater than the value of x, then my program will not execute this anymore and exit and goes in here okay so the condition says is your your i is less than or equal to to x okay to x now good as saying is your i which is one less than or equal to x which is five so the condition is true now since the condition is true perform this one all right so display what display what to display display the value of i but by the way display is a function right display is a function so going back above when you are going to use display you need to have parameters like integer value one then we have we need to have three character values also right so 
when we say display, we have to bring an integer value, right? And three character values. So, when our loop statement is trying to get inside display, it brings the value of 5 of i. How much is our i? Our i is 1. And at the same time, it brings character value i, right? And two empty spaces. So it goes in here. So this is our display. So here, our display receives what? Our y receives the value of x, which is oh, i, which is, right? Which is 1. And then our a receives the value of small i. I'm sorry. Are you following? And our B receives what? Empty. And our C receives um, empty also. Alright? I'm sorry. Empty. That's it. These are actually parameters that have been passed. And here comes printf. It displays what? It displays whatever are the three character values. That is being stored at A, B, and C. Alright? So our A is I. Our B is vacant space. And our C is vacant space. Followed by an equal sign. Right? And present D, which is actually what? The placeholder of Y. Our Y is how much? Our Y is what? Geneva. Now, after executing this one, what's next? It goes back in here because this is the calling function right no uh, the next statement is sum is equal to right sum is equal to sum plus one plus i our sum is zero because we initialize it by zero right zero plus the value of i which is one so sum now becomes one curly bracket means what Increase the value of i. That's i, I plus plus. So this time, our i becomes so much? 2. Alright? Very following. And uh, since i becomes 2, the condition is being checked. Is your i, which is 2, less than or equal to x, which is 5. The condition is what? The condition is true. Now, since the condition is true, what's next? Get inside and perform. So, get inside display, right? And when you are trying to get inside display, you are bringing the value of i, which is now 2, and character value i plus 2 value, character value spaces. So, in here, you're good as you are trying to receive what? Your i, which is 2. Right, your a, uh, which is small i, right, and your b into space, and your c into space, right. And when you say print this one, you're good as you're, you're trying to print what you're trying to print your i, all right, as two. You're following, right, because. Our y is, is now 2. And it goes back in here. So when it, go, when it, when it goes back to the curly bracket, right? Um, our sum now becomes how much? Sum is equal to sum plus, plus i. Our sum is 1. Then plus our i, which is how much? Our i is 2. So that is now 3. Alright? And uh, curly bracket means what? Increase the value of i. i plus plus. So i now becomes 3. Previously it was 2. Right? And check the condition. Is your i, which is 3, less than or equal to the value of x, which is 5? The condition is still true. Now since the condition is true, perform again. <laughs> right? So when you perform it again, you are now bringing the value of i, which is how much? 3. And at the same time, you're bringing character value i and character empty space. Character empty space. So when you get inside in here, you're good as you're trying to print what? 
you're trying to print the value of a which is small letter i plus 2 become space plus equal sign plus the present value of i which is being received by y in here and that's how much and it goes back again when it goes back right when it goes back because of this curly bracket right so i now becomes how much but prior to the curly bracket we'll try to increase first the sum sum now is equal to 3 plus the value of i which is 3 are you following and that is how much 6 all right so curly bracket means what increase the value of i our i now is how much our i is 4 and uh, question is 4 lesser than or equal to 5 which is the value of x the condition is still perform again and so on and so forth all right so look at this look at this uh the condition is true get inside all right when you get inside you're trying to use display and bring the value of i so when you get in here when you say print you're good as you're trying to print the value of a which is small letter i plus two become space followed by equal sign and the value of y in here are you following right and it goes back again when it goes back you're trying to increase the value of sum at this time sum now is equal to six plus the value of i which is four and that is how much then okay are you following and curly bracket means what increase the value of i increase the value of i by one and that's five condition is your i which is five less than or equal to the value of x which is five the condition is still true now since the condition is true perform again this one so perform display so get inside display and bring the parameters when you say this one, you're trying to print the value of A in here, which is smaller, right? Right, this one. This three character data placeholder. So space, equal sign, and followed by whatever is the value of Y, which is actually coming from the value of I, which is okay. following. So, fine. And it goes back in here. When it goes back, we are now increasing the value of sum. Our sum now is equal to how much? 10 plus the value of i which is 5. And that is equal to 15. Are you following? Alright? Now, curly bracket again means what? It'll increase the value of i. Hot coffee please. Increase the value of i. Our i now is how much? 6. Condition is your i which is 6 less than or equal to 5. No. The condition is now false. Now since the condition is false, do not perform this anymore. And exit. Execute return to sum. So pass back whatever is the value of sum. How much is our sum? Our sum is 15. So 15 will be passed on to the calling party. Alright? And what is the calling party? The calling party is M. So M now has a value of 15. Right? And uh, display again, again, I, we are not using display for so many times. Display is actually a function. This time, we are passing the value of M. Right? Small letter S, small letter U, and small letter m okay so take note our m integer variable contains 15 this m in here for sum is actually a character m not a variable m all right so let's move on to display all right so our display our display function now receives what our y receives the value of m which is 15 are you following? And our E receives what? 
small letter S. Our B receives small letter U. Alright? And our C receives pa, small letter M. Those are actually parameters in here. Alright? Parameters. So, because you have this value, alright? Execute. Now, when you execute this one, what's next? You're trying to print what? Three character values. And what are those three character values? It's inside A, B, and C. Alright? What is the content of A? Small s. What is the content of B? Small u. What is the content of C? Small m. Then followed by an equal sign. Alright? So equal sign. And then followed by percent D. Percent D refers to the value of y. How much is our y? Our y is 15. Alright? So while we are trying to to display 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, our program will then compute 4, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, and that is 15. Alright? So if you can see, um, our, main, our main function contains limited lines of instructions. But then when you get inside in here, you're trying to call display as many as the value of your x. And once you're done, you will try to, to return the value of sum to the calling party in here. And after that, we'll get back for display and bring again another group of parameters right, to, to be displayed in here. That will display eventually the total. Of so uh, that's it. Um, I, I hope um, you will get my discussion today um, I have here in my online compiler actually the same program that I did discuss a while ago right. you know this is so challenging when, when I did create this program um, it took um, several minutes for me to digest it so for example five when you press enter key all right Our program displays this one and this one. The vacant lines in here are act, uh, space are actually the result of the two two vacant space parameters, right? Why? Because I need to address this one. Because at the end of my loop, I I need to pass right. I need to use display function, and I'll be passing what sum, or in the word sum contains three parameters. And since I, I only have one eye in here, so I need to pass blank space in here. Alright? So, that's it. Uh, assuming I'll be passing 7. It displays 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and that's with 8. Okay, another example. Um, 3. I displays to that. Right, so um, I'm done with my discussion. I I hope I was able to explain the program. I hope I was able to share my my technical know-how in, in function programming. Um, like I said, you know, when you're good in function programming, you'll be good in object-oriented programming. Trust me. I was there when I was in college. Um, you know, there wasn't OOP yet, and there wasn't function programming yet. You just learned it while I did my self-study. Now I'm sharing this to you. Okay? So I'm hoping that you, know, you, 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 you explore, right? You do the same. Copy and paste this program. Explore. Try to be a scientist, you know? Right? And uh, eventually you'll be, you'll be applying this in your any, any uh, programming problems. Okay? So... Thank you so much for watching this video. Again and again, I would like to request, please click subscribe, share this video to your friends, relatives, classmates, or you know, eager to learn programming. The best way to start learning programming is to learn C programming. Anyways, goodbye for now. God bless you.